All right, guys. Welcome to a new episode. We're here in the garage with Rob. We got something for his project that you guys don't even know about yet. So, we're going to open up this garage door here since it's starting to get nice here. And I think we should peel back this car got covered quick for the YouTube video instead of just saying what it is. So, we're going to open this up. We're going to give you guys a peek at what the car is. Then we're going to show you the engine we just picked up for it. Okay, so, we just unwrapped the car. There's a fuck ton of snow in it. Here's his car. I'm not going to speak on it. I'll let him speak on it. I know we don't have much light out here. This thing's actually really good in low light. Wow. The power sunroof gets me. The car's in really good shape. Only thing is we got a couple. They mounted over fenders on one side. So we got to patch those. And at some point, I don't know if you guys can see that, there was a bolt-in cage. So we need to address those before anything else. It is a rust-free car. Minor surface rust. Anywhere where it's starting to show in seams, that will 100% be addressed. What would you say, F yeah spec? Canadian FES yeah, spec. <laughs> and then we'll walk over here. Oh, and here's the goodies we just put, picked up. So, RB25 block with trans head, whole engine, everything's here. We got the clutch, that actual gritty manifold, right? Not a Freddy. All disassembled, everything in good condition. So, we gotta assemble an engine. But that's okay. It's gonna go into the Sylvia. So, we're gonna go make some room in the garage and then get the shit unloaded. And we'll talk more about the plan of the car after. Lunch break! And now we start bringing things in. I heard that too. To drop it from like higher. It did kind of sound like that. I mean, I'll come look in here over here in the morning too. I'm not actually gonna carry it. Yo, I got a screw in this one. I think that was it. That was it. There's a screw in this one. Okay, so. I'm gonna put my phone away so I can actually help. Ooh. It's gonna be sketchy when you're carrying the heavy shit. Let's turn that down a little. So we got all the parts in. The block down here, valve covers. We're able to organize everything. Got the valve train. Over here. Your tailgate's still open, bro. There's a lot of fucking work ahead. Your tailgate's still open. I mean, we are in St. Albert. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm gonna try to find somewhere for a little time lapse. Listen to Jimmy Mang and get her done. Let's just do a quick RB swap on my car.
Yeah, Rob, we did it first. There we go. So we went through everything, didn't really organize much. But we know what we have and what we don't have. We're not missing anything major, we're missing the idle air control valve and a cam gear. Um, I mean, it's a disassembled engine. I honestly expected something to be missing, so I'm glad that's all it was. So we're going to end for today. We're going to take it back up tomorrow. Rob just left. Didn't do much. We did decide that I'm going to polish his intake and his valve covers. So these ones are not too far off, so those ones will be easy. And we're tomorrow we're also going to be working on the 240. doing we're gonna make it work fuck it I'm sick of this I just want to drive it this year I want to go skirt so onyx all right what is up guys we're back um, it's actually very late it's actually seven it's like on the money so, I'm not going to be doing a lot of work today, so what I'm, I'm going to be doing is removing this engine harness as well as getting, I need to pull my, I don't know why I did it, I put my wideband sensor in the harness. Not the best idea. So, what I'm going to do... Power up some music over here. Bluetooth, mode. Bluetooth mode pairing successfully. Bluetooth pairing successfully. So that's good. It's been a long day though, guys. I did get some oil and gear oil. It's on the ground over there. Just got some real cheap gear oil. Just. So I can drive it once when it's ready, when it's running, it has lubrication. I'm gonna do that stuff first thing first. Just get shit done. So, let's go do it. Brand new boot. Yeah, let's get those jumps. Oh, I just smashed my head pretty good though. That hurt. Get bottle one going and get the second one open. Probably make sure that drain plug under there is tight. Good enough for me, I don't see drips. Put about half of this last one in.
barbecue season is underway. Now we got this harness out. What I need to do is I need to trace out my wide band. And then I think what I'm gonna do about this is I'm just gonna buy a plug kit from wiring specialties and then the loom from Link. We do that, but harness is off now so I have another one in the house that's going on. So we're putting the stock ECU in, running a bigger math to fool it, and we're just jimmying it. I wanna drive. But, we got a marker right here, cause we can. Take that off. We don't need to do this now. This is getting a rogue fan. So yeah, we're actually really close now. Depending on what we do to tomorrow, we could see this done, so. Let me come up with another quick plan. We'll bang something else out quick. I'm trying really hard to find this O2 bunk. Last time I bought one, I found the one I had literally minutes after I got home with it. And I'm not trying to do that again. Tomorrow, such a small part too. You think just a little bunny wouldn't be that expensive. It's pricier than you would think. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my. So, what else do we have on this list? Fill oil. We can do that. Let's do it. So that's done. We don't need to secure bay wiring because there's nothing left in there to secure. Um, chassis power is good. Relay board is 90% done. Don't need to do this. I need to add bung. Can't find it for the fucking life of me. So I might bite the bullet and buy another one. Got a couple of small spots I can check. I don't really know. I need this for inside the house. Want to redo my computer setup or my sim sits. But honestly, guys, I think this is where I'm going to wrap it up for today. Kind of just tired, so. I'm going to call it. So, I will probably be back over here tomorrow. I'm supposed to go help my buddy Gabriel tomorrow. Help him with his... I'm not even going to say because I don't want to fuck it up and say the wrong car. But, uh... We'll help him with that tomorrow. So maybe I'll shoot a video there. I don't know. Fill him out first. If he's down, I'm down. I'll end up sending him this video tonight. But yeah. Alright guys. Thank you. 
like, comment, subscribe, come back for the next video. We should have this thing running in the next couple of videos and hopefully be doing something with the RV as well. Uh, I'm trying to convince Rob to get some machining done sooner rather than later so we can start some stuff because of reasons like we do have all our valves sitting right here. I don't. I'd rather them in the car. So. That's where we're at, so. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.